day everybody glad you clicked on the video so it's tuesday morning here after a thanksgiving weekend happy thanksgiving to all of you we're having our thanksgiving next weekend um just we want to get all the family together and that was the best opportunity so we're going to do our thanksgiving next weekend um but it was a heck of a good weekend got in on the four wheelers with the kids asking a lot about that so we finally got them out and uh, came all the way back in the back 40 here and went cruising and uh, guaranteed they'll be bugging me again tonight which is a non-stop thing now <laughs> but uh, no I just came back here I put some more grain on the bait pile and uh, the does that keep coming here is insane. Uh, my phone's been going crazy with my new Spy Point Flex G36 camera. Awesome little camera. The uh, images and everything else is just unreal compared to my other control cams that I've had. But this morning, of course, I'm back here and there is no activity. <laughs> I 
But no, they they were here quite a bit this morning, so they've gone to go lay down for a while, like they always do, and they'll be back out probably around four or five o'clock this afternoon. And I got um, a couple little foxes, and I got one little buck on the show cam. I think it was yesterday morning, uh, so Monday morning. Nothing spectacular, nothing cool. My target buck, I have not seen him yet. Um, I kind of hope I do. I hope he hasn't been poached or hit by a car or anything like that in the off season. So I hope we see him show up. It is, I believe it's the 14th or 15th of October today. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's kind of surprising that we haven't seen any. Um, I know it's over a year now where I did a video where it was buck bucks and more bucks. We've had a lot here and a lot of shootable bucks. And uh, I have a tiny little buck that has shown up here this year. So kind of odd on how the years are, are different. I don't really know what the difference is besides it has been warmer than it has been the last uh, couple of years. So that that could be it um uh, the amount of coyotes that's been here but yet since i got this trail cam i have gotten i think only one coyote on it so i may take my other trail cam and put it out just outside the, my trail and see what is kicking around out there um i don't know it, it's a little odd to me but once we get some snow like there's still some green out here, so they're still eating. They're not needing to find food so much right now, but it's getting a little bit more scarce for them. They're, everything is dying off really quickly. Um, so I think that's probably the issue. So um, going to be working around the house the next few days going to be doing some winter cleanup i want to make sure i have areas cleaned up so that i can uh drag the snow and and blow snow and stuff like that because now we got the animals so i got to make sure i have pathways all pre set up so that the snowblower is not hitting any stones or rocks or anything like that so i'm going to make sure i have everything cleared we also took down the greenhouse which was kind of sad it was sad to see it empty um, we got lots of small, uh, tomatoes. So we, well, the beautiful one in Little Riker have been making ketchup. So that was a cool little process. They're still rendering it down, getting a lot of the moisture out and it's thickened up quite a bit now. So Riker, Riker just keeps going to it, checking it and everything else. And he absolutely loves it. He's a huge ketchup fiend. Just kind of crazy doing a lot of small things, but um, I have to get out and start doing a lot more of the small things to get prepped for snow because it's coming. Um, they're predicting right now the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of October, we're supposed to start getting a little bit of snow. So it's that time of year to start focusing on all the outdoor stuff, get prepped and ready to go. So. Mm -hmm. 